Hi, my name is Brandi Quintero, and I work for Lindsay Unified School District as an educator. And the purpose of this broadcast is to explain how I use Educate, some of the views that I use, and how those enhance the learning of my students. So when an educator first goes on, logs on to Educate, this will be the screen that they will see. This is called their homepage. Um, and over here is all the different places that they can go to. Um, some of the views that I use the most are the task gradebook and the grading spreadsheet tab. Um, as you can see right here, this is the grading spreadsheet and I can filter it and so that I can look at just um, one particular semester, one particular grade level for the students. Um, I tend to use this particular view at the beginning of the school year, end of semester one, beginning of semester two, and the end of the year. Um, what this allows me to do is to see all of my students um, these are all my students, and the standards that I'm supposed to cover throughout that semester or throughout the year. And I can see what my students' scores are already for those standards. If they're missing anything, where are they missing it? And it allows me to figure out how to group students. So for example, all of these learners have finished reading point of view, but they've not all finished reading information in mediums. And I can hover right here and see what the actual standard says. And so I know that these three students I could pull together for either a mini group during class or a group after school and work with those students to try to um, help them. Um, you can notice that there's a 2.5 and a 2. A 2 is they've got the basic knowledge, um, but they're struggling with really that advanced, the actual, what the learning target is asking, or the standard, sorry, is asking. Um, so for example, this standard says analyze various accounts of a subject told in different mediums. So they might be doing the details, but they're not really sure how to talk about what's emphasized and what's left out in another account. Um, these students right here have 2.5s, which means they're very close to being proficient. Um, they're just missing one little piece and they would be considered proficient. Um, we have rubrics for these. These are not, these rubrics aren't on Educate. Um, they are going to be on our new, uh, we're, we call it Educate 2.0. Um, we're going to be going to a program called Empower, but it it's the very similar to educate um, and within that we will be able to attach rubrics to for the students to see but in the current form we're not able to do that um, and so uh, sorry I lost my train of thought um, this allows us to just see where students are and where they might have gaps and how to group them um, the task gradebook view is much like your traditional gradebook that you would have pencil and paper um, these are my assignments right here and these are the scores that those students have gotten for those assignments if it wasn't the end of the year you would have saw maybe more 2.5s or um, ones even across the board um, but it's the end of the year so most of them have been able to get to where they've demonstrated proficiency um, some students never turn the assignment in that's what the overdue mark is and again functions just as a typical grading system I can filter it so that I can only see one particular assignment at a time and this is what I typically do I use this view every day and if I've been in the middle of grading um, one particular assignment I'll bring that assignment up and just enter the scores right here um, if for particular this was a theme essay so for the theme standard they were going to be done I can actually update overall right here and then as I click a three, then it's going to update their overall score and those learners are done with that particular standard. Um, now, like I said, students can't see um, this particular viewpoint. They can't see what other students' scores are, but they can see their own.